Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about a situs fluid test or peritoneal fluid analysis. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is a situs fluid test. A situs fluid test is also known as peritoneal fluid analysis. This test looks for the fluid that is filled up in the peritoneum. This fluid is usually built up in the space in the abdomen around the internal organs. This area is known as peritoneal space and the fluid that is built up here is known as peritoneal fluid. Now let us see how is this test performed. For this test, a sample of peritoneal fluid is required. The sample is removed from the peritoneal space using a needle and a syringe. Most of the times, ultrasound is used to direct the needle in the peritoneal space. It is used so as to avoid any penetrating injury. For this test, a small area of abdomen is cleaned. Later, a numbing agent is applied on the skin so as to avoid any sort of pain. After this, a needle is inserted through skin into the abdomen and the fluid is pulled out. The fluid later on is filled up in the syringe and sent to the lab. The fluid is usually used to measure albumin, proteins, and RBCs and WBCs. This fluid can also be used to check for infections and various kind of bacteria. Now, let us see how can you prepare for this test. If you're going for this test, make sure you inform your doctor about all the medications that you're taking, including all the ODCs that is over-the-counter pills. Also, do inform your doctor if you have any sort of bleeding disorders or any allergies. Now, let us see how will the test feel. During the procedure, you might feel a little stinging sensation. You might also feel pressure of the needle, but this is usually painless because the numbing cream is already applied. In some cases, we apply numbing cream and in some cases, we apply the numbing medicine, depending on the doctor and the patient. Also, it depends on the doctor how much amount of fluid is to be taken out. But if a large amount of fluid is taken out, you might feel a little lightheadedness or dizziness. If you feel so, make sure to inform your doctor about this. Now, let us see why is this test performed. This test is usually performed to diagnose peritonitis. It can also be done to find the cause of the fluid in the abdomen. Sometimes, this is done with people having a liver disease to take out the extra fluid from the peritoneum. This helps in better breathing. And this can also be used to check if there is any internal bleeding from the injury. Now, let's talk about the results. What do the results mean? If your fluid is bile stained, it may mean that you have a liver or a gallbladder disease. If the fluid is bloody in nature, it may mean that there is a tumor or an injury. If the fluid has high numbers of WBCs, it may mean that there is peritonitis. And if the fluid is milky in color, it may either mean carcinoma or other infections. If your results are abnormal, your doctor might require additional tests and scans to confirm the diagnosis. After interpreting all the test reports and the scans and looking after your medical history, your doctor might talk with you to develop a treatment plan that works best for you. Also, it's equally important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.